I met with a, um, a couple in my office, married couple, and the man, he explained to me, him and his wife was, they were separated, but they, but they were in love. They wanted to be together. And so he said, Pastor, I mean, I just got a problem with women. I mean, I just got a, I've always had a problem with, with women. And since we've been married, I've had not just one affair, but multiple. I mean, I just love women. I just, I, I, I can't put my, I just, I can't explain it. I just love women. And it's like, it's, I'm like Pookie from New Jack City. They called me. And, then, and he said, I just, I just don't, I don't know what to do with it. So as I listened to how his affair with women that he didn't really know, I asked the question, I said, let me ask you, when was your first sexual encounter? He said, well, I was a senior in high school. I said, no, no, when was your first sexual encounter? He said, I was a senior in high school. I said, no, no. When was your first sexual encounter? He started to look confused. And his wife looked at him. And she whispered, tell him, tell him. His face changed, and I saw a 40-plus-year-old man become a 10-year-old. And this, and this man, he, did, he, said, he said, well, I had to stay with my uncle. And my uncle had a lot of different girlfriends. And he'd, he'd call me in the room. And have them do stuff to me. He made me touch and, and let them touch. And, and so this man, he started to weep. I said, that's it. See, that's the hurt pocket. See, hurt pockets are those things that happen in our lives that we never get rid of. We just store in our pocket. I was molested. I was embarrassed. I'm overweight. I didn't make the team. They lied. She left me. He left me. I trusted you and you You talked about me. You put your mouth on me. You shared stuff that I only told you, and you put that out there? I grew up poor. I didn't have nice shoes. I didn't have but two pair of pants. I grew up poor. I was hungry. I used to hate people to drop me off at home because my house didn't look very good. And I've placed, you've, you know, all those things are placed in a safe place, in a pocket, and you can still put some Gucci over it. But no matter how you cover it up, it's still there. And no one notices it until they try to get intimately involved in a relationship with you. And when it happens, they, hey, what, what's that in your pocket? That's, what's, what's that? What are you hiding? And that's, that's the hurt place. And see, the reason why you can't even articulate what's wrong because it's all just jumbled up in your mind. And so when people try to address one piece of pain, you got to sort through all the other hell. And so now you're addressing things. And when, when I can't get to why you can't touch me because I'm trying to get through why I'm hurt. I can't get to, no, no, no. The reason why I don't say that because I'm And so these past hurts, we bring those into our relationships. We bring these past hurts of, of, of how we were introduced to intimacy. 